Okay, let's get messy, guys. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> Flow like water. Land in every pose. I'm like realizing that the classes that I took through Baptiste before, I, I didn't get it. And now I get it. This was one of the most fun classes I've done in a long time. I had so much fun. I couldn't ohm in the beginning because I was always laughing. I don't know why. It was just so much fun. And like the freedom of just fun. Yeah, that opens up space for so much new stuff and fun stuff. And to be able to share that practice with you guys, so nice, so much fun. I'm so thankful for you, each and every one of you. Ah, oh, man, I was saying some good stuff too, Brandon. <laughs> all right. We're all meeting in Down Dog together in community. My social. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> it's a good one, Brandon, isn't it? <laughs> Lift the 10 toes, Kate. Try that. Yeah. <laughs> It was really fun. Um, thank you guys for holding this space. Thank you, Brandon, everyone. Really, it was awesome. I can't get enough of these replays. Every time I get in my car now, that's my go-to. I don't even care what I'm listening. I don't even care if it's from like the second week. I just love listening to it because I keep getting new little nuggets. Using our body, like you said, with the hand movements or whatever it is, but we've got to feel alive to be able to give that to yeah. the students. Totally. Yeah, for sure. What would it mean to leave people in their greatness? Sometimes I use it in the wrong way. If I escape from adjusting by saying, oh, just leave it, leave them in their greatness. But I'm not helping anybody. Like the, it's not beneficial for anyone. The shoulder has a smaller socket. And so that means that the shoulder can move at much greater range then the hip can move even though they're both ball and socket joints so grateful for this practice and this work like it's such a journey and it's beautiful i had the students come up afterwards and go like oh my god what was that we i came in here tired and now i feel like i'm ready to run a 10k and i'm like good that's good right so um i just think it's with me all the time and um it just feels like a brand new, it's a brand new way of teaching and it's a great way of teaching, I think. And it's a lot to learn. In the five pillars is about creating flow within us. Thank you everybody for letting me lead your practice today. So by keeping to the rigor of this, it will shift your seeing for how to create heat in the body. Remind yourself that this has been a journey from integration and feeling your own body, connecting your own breath to awakening and feeling your vital essence to finding the equanimity and balance through the poses and the postures and the grounding and the firmness of the earth that always is holding you, the fire and the ignition and the stability and the core work. Finally, our opening and release, which has brought us here to rejuvenation.